you guys heard the advice, just W key everything, just push everything or full send. Well, there's a little bit of truth to that. You will get better, but slowly. What they're trying to do is get you to gain experience. Through experience, you get better knowledge, which makes you have better decisions in game. So I'm just gonna give you the knowledge and save you some heartache. Before you push up on a squad, you wanna create a bunch of dilemmas for them and limit the ones you're experiencing. So what the heck is a dilemma? What am I facing right now that makes it hard to push? In this scenario, you have to look at the open space versus the advantage the knock is providing us. My teammates have to cross this bridge that has zero cover to try and get to them. Traditional guidance says push this like crazy. Does that actually make sense? I would argue, no. Even though we got a knock, yeah, two people can push up there, but I'm gonna be way behind. So you're only getting a 2v2. In this case, the dilemma of the terrain is too great compared to the benefit of a knock. Now, something you guys don't know is that we did knock one of the other squad members, and that's why my teammates did push up across. I think knowing that it's a 1v2, most of you would push. But you see how based on the open terrain, or maybe close terrain, it might differ if 1, 2, or 0 knocks is enough to push across that open space. Simply put, it's more than a knock that matter. Look at this scenario. You got people everywhere, including behind you. You only have Newcastle's ultimate right there for cover, so you need to change things up. Even with no knocks, the dilemma of the high ground, open space, and multiple teams said that a push to this high ground and try and take it from this one team instead of four was the correct decision. And these advantages are always shifting. That's what the Legends abilities are meant for, is to create or destroy dilemmas. So that last example was when to push with no knocks. But here we have an example where the enemy team decides to push because we had one of our guys knocked. But look at the dilemmas he has to overcome. You've got these stairs in front of you, you've got two teammates that are on high ground, and then you also have the fact that this guy pushed by himself. He doesn't have teammates with him. So this makes my job easy because on top of the natural terrain dilemmas, I can use my legend's abilities just to completely make him rethink his movement here. On top of that, some poorly aimed shots and now this guy is turning around. So that's how to introduce dilemmas to stop a push. So now what would you do from here? What dilemmas have they imposed versus what dilemmas can we impose instantaneously? Leave a comment down below what you would do and we're gonna get back to this in a couple more examples. So we've talked about what are dilemmas and we've talked about how to change dilemmas using Legends abilities. So now let's talk about the fun part, about when those stack in your favor and just being able to push them and holding that momentum forward. So what we have here is two people who go down, caustic smoke, ring coming in from the back side, and it's just one person back there, and there's three of us alive. So the advantages are so hugely on our side that we have to just push this. Even though I'm not all the way healed, we have to keep the pressure on this person. There's probably some little better ways to do this with some more cover and using your abilities, but occasionally you run into those full send situations, similar to this. There are ways that I could have gotten a little bit better cover, but just the way it happens, out in the open, caught somebody else out in the open, noticed that a second person's on flesh, this is a full send situation. The terrain is neutral in this situation because we both can use it to the same degree of advantage, so it doesn't benefit either of us. So this just comes down to numbers, shields, and angles, and we have the benefit on it since we had an early knock. Let's revisit that earlier example. Well, hindsight 2020, I wouldn't push it. They would have to come up to us and we got all day long to pick at them. But, uh, you know, I got into the moment. I pushed it, but I felt comfortable doing it because I felt that the dilemma of me being able to get a second knock on a person and then my team having a 2v1, even if I went down, was strong enough that we'd win the fight. And it pretty much happened. What I'm trying to show by these examples is there is a full send W key, but it's when you've decided that the dilemmas are in your favor. This guy is so out of options, he has so many dilemmas to face that he has no choice but to choose a bad option. And that's where you're trying to get your people. So when you're looking at these, think about what is my team doing? What can we do to improve it? What can we do to reduce the other team's ability? By understanding how to read, implement, and negate these tactical dilemmas, your ability to full send on enemies is going to skyrocket. I hope you learned something out of this. Go back if something didn't make sense or drop me a comment and I'll explain it as best as I can. Thanks for watching guys and good luck out there.